Okay, we're back with the groundwork. You've done seen the gusset, but here's the groundwork. Normally this is done in this type of leather. On the reverse side, which is actually not the grain, but the grain is placed down on your strainer or your glass groundwork, which this is. And with a metal strainer, it takes more to achieve this nice, smooth, no lump transition from the top of the groundwork under the legs. This specific saddle was built by me, or the saddle tree, excuse me, so the groundwork underneath has already been polished, it's clean, so I just need to lay a piece of leather over it, attach it to, well, actually glue it to the fiberglass, therefore that gives it a good area for the seat to bond to. The seats here with the fenders, and you can see this is coming up in our next stage. The back of the cantle has been already tooled and placed on with our maker stamp. So we'll be able to put the cantle on. There's many, many stages and ways to build a saddle from the old fashioned to the new, more modern, which is still the same quality, yet cuts down on the weight. But you always have to consider the quality of the saddle as a finished product. As I said, there's many, many numerous ways to build barrel racers, cutters, working cow horse, roping saddles. Each one has its own strengthened points. Other points that are not so strong, such as in barrel racing, you always have to have good rigging, good leather. But there's just more to each of these saddles in different ways. I'll explain them as, you, as I start to put more videos on the website here and to put them on Facebook. As I said, this saddle should be pretty much finished the end of the week. And then we'll be pulling out of here next week for Las Vegas. Uh, looking forward to your opinions and your responses. Thank you.